let's have a look at question 1.4 so we have a village that has two families so the Adams and Besley now we have land around the village which is uh, five acres I wrote over here five meters square it's just more comfortable uh, this land must be divided into space for agriculture which creates sandwiches and a park of size Z now the park is a pure public good and each each acre of land yields 50 sandwiches find the production possibilities frontier what is the marginal rate of transformation well let's see let's see we have five meters square to allocate we could do either sandwiches or we could build a park right meaning we will have sandwiches on one side let's say this would be the sandwiches and on the other side we would have the park the park is measured in size z now what are going to be the intercepts let's see if we invest all the five meter squares into sandwiches and we know that one meter square is providing us 50 sandwiches well 50 times 5 50 sandwiches times 5 meter square meter squares that's going to give us 250 sandwiches overall that would be the intercept over here so this would be 250 now what is the maximum amount of land that we can invest in building in the park well we could put all the five meters square into the park so that would be five over here now let's connect these two and that's going to be our production possibilities from here we are connecting the two and this will be our production possibilities from here now why is this a straight line why isn't it curved because every because the con the, the slope is going to be constant every additional meter square so let's let's show it on, over here what is the slope of the ppf and by the way the slope of the ppf the slope is going to give us the marginal rate of transformation meaning that if we want to get an additional meter square for the park let's say we're at the level of two meter square and we want to go to the level of three meter square to get from two to three we must give up something we must give up production of sandwiches because if we use one meter square for the park we are not using that same meter square to produce sandwiches so we give up sandwiches how much do we give up we give up 50 sandwiches because one meter square is yielding us 50 sandwiches in other words the marginal rate of transformation here is showing us the opportunity cost one extra meter square means giving up giving up 50 sandwiches so the marginal rate of transformation is gonna be equal to 50 hope this makes sense in the next question we keep going